हेलो एवरी वन आई एम जहूर इस्लाम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एंड माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन क्लिनिकल फार्मेसी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग क्लिनिकल फार्मेसी यू शुड नो अबाउट द हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द origination of the clinical pharmacy so healthcare system is composed of physicians including other medical and dental staffs pharmacists nurses and other paramedics and healthcare system all the healthcare provider play, play a very significant role in healthcare delivery system physician is wholly solely responsible for the diagnosis of a disease prescription monitoring and medical care while the pharmacist is responsible for the prescription dispensing counseling monitoring and pharmaceutical care nurse is responsible for administering monitoring and nursing care while other paramedics have their own work if any any one of them is missing in healthcare system then the healthcare system is incomplete load to the physician and nurse high due to the system of the physicians physicians are all and all in hospital for the treatment of patient with the help of nurse and concept of normal public patient so that is the same what is the perceptions of the pharmacist and how how do other see us so they just count a few tablets they just wait and measure the things a bunch of shopkeepers tell me how and when to use the medicine counter prescribing and no really healthcare practitioners they are businessmen do you need a degree to be a pharmacist okay so you should know about all these components without physician this healthcare system is incomplete without pharmacist this healthcare system is not significant without nurse because this is totally patient oriented healthcare delivery system for practicing clinical pharmacy there should be need a competence of the healthcare practitioners b form 2 and form 2 form d so for practicing clinical pharmacy you need a degree of form d pre registration and registration there should be residency program and continuing professional development inform the general public increase the expectation Okay so come toward the introduction introduction to the clinical pharmacy so the clinical pharmacy may be defined as the science and practice operational use of medication where the pharmacist are more oriented towards the patient care so the patient care rationalizing the medication therapy promoting the health wellness of the people so clinical pharmacy is totally the science and practice operational use of medication that help to use the uh, drugs and medicine in a proper way in order to promoting the patient care rationalizing the medication therapy promoting health and well care of the person so it is the modern and extended field of pharmacy the discipline that embodies the application and development by pharmacist of scientific principles of pharmacology toxicology therapeutics and clinical pharmacokinetics pharmaco economics pharmacogenomics and other allied sciences for care of the patient uh, this data has been taken from the american college of clinical pharmacy 
Okay, so come toward the history of clinical pharmacy. So the clinical pharmacy concept until the mid 1960s, the traditional role, the development of clinical pharmacy started in United States America. More clinically oriented curriculum were designed with a word of from the degree. These developments includes influence the practice of pharmacy in UK. So initially the prescription and drug administration records were introduced followed by increasing pharmacy practice in hospital wards. Master degree programs in clinical pharmacy were introduced for the first time in 1976. The progress of the clinical pharmacy development remained at low profile in the first decade after its birth in UK. However, no fields report in 1986 geared off the momentum for the progressions of the clinical pharmacy. Until today, the clinical pharmacy practice in Nepal is embryonic stage. So it is very important to know about the history of the clinical pharmacy that when it was introduced and then it was prevailed throughout the world. How does the clinical pharmacy differ from the pharmacy? So the discipline of the pharmacy embraces the knowledge on the synthesis, chemistry and preparation of the drugs. So you know that pharmacist is a person who is legally and professionally qualified and expert on drugs. Clinical pharmacy is more oriented to the analysis of the population needs with regards to the medicine we have administration, pattern of use, drug effects on the patients, the overall drug therapy management. The focus of the attention is move from drug to the single patient or population receiving drugs. Okay, so now you can see here in this figure, this is the clinical pharmacy requirement. So, for clinical pharmacy requirement, or main target is patient care. So, for, for patient care, it is very important for all the patient, for all the pharmacists that he or she should know about the knowledge of the drug therapy. You should know about the knowledge of the drug therapy that you are going to treat any condition, any disease. You should know about the knowledge of the disease. The pharmacist should know about the knowledge of the disease because we are going to target that particular disease with the help of particular drug. So we should know about the knowledge of the laboratory and the diagnostic skills. If you, if, you, if, if you haven't the knowledge of the laboratory, for example, a patient having liver dysfunctions or kidney dysfunction, so what kind of diagnostic test uh, they are usually performed for the patients. Communication skill is also uh, one of the contributing factors. So communication skill is very important to exchange your ideas with the patient that the patients uh, know about what uh, you, are you are talking with him, either you are uh, talking in uh, Urdu, Pashto or in English. So communication skill is very important to attract the, uh, to attract the uh, patient. You should also know about the patient monitoring skills, how to monitor the patient, physical assessment skills, and the pharmacist should know about the drug information skills and therapeutic planning skills, as well as the knowledge for non-drug therapy. So it is not necessary that only with the help of drug you can treat the disease. Sometimes you need non-pharmacological treatment. So non-pharmacological -pharm non non-pharmacological treatment and non it is not necessary to use the drugs. So for pharmacists, you should know about the knowledge about the drug therapy, the knowledge about the disease, the knowledge about the lab, communication skill, the patient monitoring skill, the physical assessment and drug information skill. So all these components they are important for each and every pharmacist whenever you are doing clinical practice uh, now come to a level of action of clinical pharmacists so the level of action the clinical pharmacy activities may influence the correct use of medication at three different levels one is before the prescription the second one is during the prescription and after the prescription is written before the prescription the clinical trials you should know about the clinical trials of that particular drugs 
should know about the formularies, you should know about the drug information and drug related policies. During prescription, counseling activities are performed. The clinical pharmacist can influence the attitudes and priority of the prescribers and their choices of correct treatment. The clinical pharmacist monitors, detects and prevents the medications related problems. The clinical pharmacist pay special attention to the dosage of the drugs which need therapeutic monitoring. Community pharmacists can also make prescription decisions directly when over the counter drugs or concerts. So this is the second one is that counseling activity for the patient. Medication related problem is another issue, untreated indications and improper drug selections. Proper drug selection, so it is also the need of the day that you should select a very proper drug for the for that particular disease. Subtherapeutic dosage, you will have to maintain the therapeutic the, the therapeutics um, in order to achieve the therapeutic effect. So definitely you need a uh, little bit work on it. So medication flavor to receive, medication overdosing sometime due, due to overdosings, you know adverse drug reaction which is always occur due, due to overdosing. Then the pharmacist should know about the antidose in case of overdosing. So what will be the precautionary measurements which are going to be adopted there. Drug interactions, uh, they, this is also one of the medication related problem and medication used without indications. After prescription, counseling should be done and preparation of the personalized formulation. The drug use evaluation should be done and outcome research and pharmacoeconomic studies. What are the basic goals of the clinical pharmacist and your responsibility? So the clinical pharmacist is responsible taking the medical history of the patient as well as the, the present history as well as the fast history. Patient education is much and more important. Patient care is also important. The uh, formulation and management of drug policies, we should know about the drug information and pharmacist or the clinical pharmacist can teach and training to, uh, and give training to the medical and paramedical staffs. The clinical pharmacist should know about the research and development process. The pharmacist, the clinical pharmacist should know about the uh, participation in uh, drug utilization studies. The pharmacist should know about the patient counseling and we should know about the therapeutic drug monitoring, drug interaction surveillance, adverse drug reaction reporting, safe use of drug and disease management uses and pharmacoeconomic studies also one of the main factors. So, all these are the responsibility of the clinical pharmacist. Now, let's see here, we need to send a report to FDA about the Rugen and Viagra drug interactions. So, in case of drug interaction or if a drug shows some toxicity, then you must will have to directly report that drug to the Food and Drug Administration, United States. Glassbergine, so um, actually there are some toxicity which is reported by certain drugs, so it relieves the watery um, eyes, running nose, itchy head and scratchy throat, side effect include running nose, watery nose, etching throat and scratchy head. A clinical uh, pharmacy specialist uh, is a person uh, who has uh, got specialty in clinical pharmacy practice, usually required residency in their specialty area. In addition to a pharmacy practice residency, job functions depends on the specialty and the institutions. Usually, as teachings or research responsibilities, represent pharmacy for medication use, meeting committee and, sp and specialty areas. Uh, okay, so let's uh, come toward the clinical pharmacy practice areas. Now, these are the different areas. So, which are very important for clinical pharmacy, one is ambulatory care service, one is critical care, drug information center should be there, the geriatrics and long-term care should be there, internal medicine and subspecialty should be there, cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, infectious disease, neurology, nutrition support, adverse drug reaction, ADR, drug utilizations and transplant investigational drug, pharmacoeconomics, nephrology, obstetric and gynecology, 
pulmonary disease, psychiatry, rheumatology, nuclear pharmacy, periodic pharmacokinetic and surgery. So all are these are the specialized practice areas for clinical pharmacy. Whenever you are going to establish any clinical pharmacy, so you must will have all these concerns, department should be there. Various ambulatory services. These are the services in the form of ambulatory services. So that is anti-coagulation anti -anti management should be there, cholesterol management, there should be a proper management of cholesterol, renal management or CKD, oncology services should be there, home health pharmacy services and impact pharmacy services, drug conversion program, neonatal ICU, hypertension management and integrated coronary vascular disease, HIV and new member program, assisted new MD in prescribing national formulary to formulary drugs. Heart failure management and asthma management should be there. These are various ambulatory services. Uh, so, dear viewers, so if you need these kinds of contents in soft form, so you can directly email me. So, I am always available for any kind of services. Thank you so much for watching my lectures and if you have any questions about my lecture, so inshallah I will try my best to uh, make it more effective and inshallah uh, wish you all the best.